Profit. Also new tonight at 11, a former assistant band director at the Academy of Shawnee in Louisville is in jail tonight. He's charged with several rape and sex abuse charges. The alleged incidents happened from August of 2017 to June 2020. Now it's unclear if the charges involve students. WHS 11 night teams Taylor Woods and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie have been getting a reaction tonight on the night team. And Taylor, you talked to a concerned parent who has a child in band class. Yes, Doug, this news is upsetting to parents like Nicole Friendly. She has a ninth grade son at the Academy at Shawnee. Friendly says this brings much fear as she trusts teachers with her son daily. I am Mr. Sear Wilson. I teach band and general music here at the Academy of Shawnee. Sear T. Wilson, a former assistant band director at the Academy of Shawnee, is behind bars at Louisville Metro Department of Corrections. He's charged with rape and sexual abuse for a series of incidents between August 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2020. And this was his role with JCPS. He was employed by JCPS in January of 2020. This this is scary. This is real scary because it's hitting real close to home for me. This is disturbing for Shawnee High parents like Nicole Friendly. Friendly's son is a freshman at the Academy of Shawnee. My son is in band. I went to his band class with him, and for it to be a band, for it to be a JCPS teacher, period, that worries me, and it should worry JCPS too. <laughs> JCPS has reassigned Wilson from his band and teaching duties pending JCPS policies and procedures and the police investigation. It's unclear if the incidents involve students. It's, it's scary. Like, I entrust JCPS teachers with my son every day. Now i got to be worried about if somebody's going to touch on him or um, act inappropriately around him. Friendly hopes JCPS will take this as a wake-up call and cautiously assess potential educator applicants in the future. You just can't do stuff like that. You've got to screen your applicants better. I mean, you've got to. For the sake of our children, please. Wilson will be arraigned in court on January 8th. He's being held on a $10,000 bond. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 night team on your side. Taylor, thank you. Also today, JCPS sent out a statement to clarify Wilson's role with Ballard High School in Eastern Jefferson County. Here's what they told us. According to his resume, while in college from 2017 to 2019, he was the marching band ensemble coordinator in connection with the band boosters at Ballard High School. This was not JCPS employment. Wilson has never been the assistant band director at Ballard. Again, that statement from JCPS tonight.